in truth, in truth, truth, truth. I'm probably spelling that so fucking wrong, but this doesn't matter as you get the idea. In truth, all conversations are conversations with self, for there is no separation. This is Ciprian G at the present and precise moment of 9 p.m. on the 27 March 2018, documenting the step number 25 out of the book Steps to Knowledge, too much light, Steps to Knowledge, uh, which is channeled by Marshall Vian Summers. So today, step uh, number 25, this step it's called I am at one with the greatest truth of life. What does that mean? I am at one with the greatest truth of life. It's a uh, two 15 minutes practice period and uh, it was really interesting. Uh, let's see what I write. So practice number one, uh, I write. The great relationship that I hold with life is that I am one with it. The great relationship that I hold with life is that I am one with it. I mean, there aren't two lives. There is one life. I mean, hypothetically speaking. No, eh? hypothetically? I, I don't think hypothetically, but generally speaking. I mean, I'm alive as I am alive. You are alive as you are alive. But it's not, not a different life. It's the same life just expressing itself through different individualities or something like that seeing it's seeing itself from different perspectives i guess that's the great relationship we all hold with life not just me i say i but i mean every one of us uh, everyone on the outside is of part of me as i am a part of everyone outside as i was saying i am life you are life they are life it's, it's, I am a part of them as they are a part of me. We, it just happens that in this experience that we call human life, we perceive each other from a point of view of separation. But that's the illusion. I mean, it's a new experience for all of us because, I guess, before coming here, we knew that we are all the same thing but we split into different okay we are all life and life is not two but one it's the same life that each of us expresses just different aspects and degrees of it um as i was saying it's it's just one life and the great relationship that we have is that we are it i mean and it is us so um it's just one life, but this life, it's so vast and we are like, we're, we're, we're in a sense fragmented and each fragment can see, can choose to experience a, a certain part of life. I mean, uh, naturally it's all at once, but in this kind of experience we get to choose what we experience and we experience it gradually in a um, timely fashion in like as time moves on as we perceive time, time to move on we experience a certain part that we choose to experience consciously or unconsciously for that matter but uh, yeah <laughs> We are one life, it doesn't change, baby. Although we sometimes might not want to be the same as another, uh, we have to deal with that. We are all one. Uh, practice number two. This is what I wrote for, for the first practice. Let's now get into the second practice and see what I write. <clears throat> I love how simply this step portrays the idea that what we are and what 
and the experience we naturally transfer into the world side as a consequence uh, if you I mean I will put the link into the description of the step if you want to read it like the step for today and uh, but yeah uh, I, it doesn't say it precisely I mean it doesn't say it specifically but I love how it, they, it, it's a normal thing what we are and what we experience uh, inside that's what we are gonna portray on our outside world and uh, that's a big subject right there that's mind over matter that's the universe is mind uh, all the all is mind the universe is mental that's first first commandment is sort of hermeticism i don't think it's commandment but yeah but it's called uh, otherwise <clears throat> anyway let's not do it. let's continue here mammon mammon i don't know how to experience it so just fucking spell that mammon is a wonderful servant and a merciless master uh this is the idea that mammon would represent the world the world that we see outside the physical world and if we take it as a master that we have to um, to obey like if we have to obey the outside world then um then we will give the our power our creation power our power of being creative we will give it to outside circumstances and um i don't know things like that so that's being a servant of a man and that's not that's not pretty it you can see uh you can see around you <laughs> some people are doing some not not that happy lives some people are not living happy lives and that's because they're serving mammon and they they're not conscious of the fact that they are creating their own reality so uh, but while he's a merciless master once you consciously know that you actually that you actually create your world uh, your physical world then it becomes a wonderful master and you can choose whatever by 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 um, mastering your own mind and thoughts and your flow of attention you will uh, be able to make out of it a servant and it's a wonderful servant that's for sure uh, I feel as if these teachers who are within me are the various teachers who I often listen to through YouTube videos or reading books or by seemingly having a conversation with myself. Uh, in truth, all conversations are conversations with self for there is no separation. So uh, there's even in, in the latest steps, there's been um, uh, uh, the previous steps, there's been a conversation of uh, the masters that are within and in uh, today's step number 25 uh, description, there are, uh, they are recalled uh, as well. And uh, I didn't know how to how to relate to that, how to think of that. It's like, are these masters like unseen fucking ghosts that surround me and that I don't know about and that they just don't consciously teach me or when I dream or when I... Uh, shit like that. Uh, but then it came, uh, it suddenly came, it came to me the idea that this seemingly dead people uh, seemingly dead masters like I don't know Terence McKenna, Bill Hicks, Neville Goddard, uh, Seth who was channeled and I listened to some stuff of his um, no 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 people like that I, I think those are actually the masters and since it since it's all within and since I'm placing so much attention on their teachings uh, we naturally get attracted to the mentality of those people and we start to make it our own 
and uh, at the same time uh, i guess we in in the in the like astral world or the i don't know the world that is higher than this one maybe we're surrounded by them and i think that's the case because everything is within and stuff like that uh and yeah i, I fucking love this one uh, as well in truth in truth 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 i'm probably spelling that so fucking wrong but this doesn't matter as you get the idea in truth all conversations are conversations with self for there is no separation although you might like you might think you're talking to yourself or shit like that it's it's not true with all we're we're always talking to well we're always talking with ourselves actually but uh, with different aspects or aspects of cells and some aspects of cells we can see on the outside and some of them are inside and stuff like that but yeah this has been a great step as well i mean made me, made me think of some ideas and made me uh, recall some ideas that i've been uh, thinking about and stuff and uh, it's been a great step. I'm so fucking glad I'm doing this 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 steps to knowledge series. It's been so helpful for me and damn I I actually kind of forgot how fun this was for me and how how much of a learning learning experience it actually is. But yeah, this has been step number twenty-five uh from the book steps to knowledge and uh yeah this has been cyprian g documenting my own experience with step number 25 if you did watch it uh, thank you if you didn't thank you anyway you probably watch it sometime but it doesn't matter uh and uh yeah i'm so fucking happy <laughs> i don't know why Maybe because of the great relationship that we hold with life. That that seems like actually like a good reason. So uh, yeah, this has been Chupri and G and the mouth, baby. Bam.